Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are continuing on with the tank, and we've actually got rid of the flail on the front. Obviously we figured out that that wouldn't work, uh, and I've actually deleted it. But um, today what I thought we would actually do, uh, is we'd add a coaxial machine gun to the actual uh, turret itself. Because, obviously in these tanks and stuff like this, uh, some of them actually did have guns to the left or the right of the main gun. Uh, that was actually operated uh, by the guy in the turret. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and try and add one of those today. Whether it works or not, I'm not so sure, but uh, let's give it a go. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and start off by saying we're going to go ahead and delete these guys right here. Uh, and we're actually going to go ahead and move... Oh, do we want to move the monitor or should we leave that as is? I think we're going to leave the monitor there. Uh, but essentially, we need to fit a gun in this little section right here. Um, realistically, it should probably be like a machine gun. Uh, but that's going to be pretty tricky to do. So if it was a machine gun, obviously it'd be all the way back here. Uh, and that's actually pretty far back. And I guess it would actually be a little bit lower. So it'd actually be down there. However... I think an auto cannon actually makes more sense. So I think we'll actually add an, a light auto cannon up here. Yeah. Okay, but that does mean that we actually have to move some things around. So we're actually going to go ahead and delete this guy. We are going to move this guy out of the way. This is actually uh, the inverter for the, uh, the gun. So we're going to go ahead and turn this around and we'll actually put it on the back wall. That's actually completely fine. Uh, we can move it and stuff in the future, but for now that's okay. All right, very good. So now we've got a little bit more room. We need an auto cannon. All right, here we go. So let's make it green for now. And we'll actually try and load it in. So it needs to be somewhat like this. There we go. But actually, I kind of want it there, but we can't put it there. So it has to go higher or it has to go lower. But I think higher is better. So we'll leave it around there. That looks that looks good. All right. So uh, you might be thinking, well, you can't actually fit the ammunition next to that. And you'd be correct. I can't fit the ammunition next to that. However, if we go to auto cannons, we can actually go ahead and grab this guy, which is a corner. Uh, and we can actually just whack it straight on there like that. And we can grab some ammunition, which will be a small drum. Uh, and we can put that right on there like so. Uh, and that is actually it. There we go. So this, if we uh, make it high explosive, let's say. Uh, and we attach it to the trigger, which is going to be space bar just for now. Uh, there we go. And we give it electricity as well. There we go. Awesome. It should actually work. So let's go ahead and uh, spawn it in. We'll jump up there and we'll see if we can shoot it. Let's go. All right, we're inside. Get on this. Here we go. It'll use pretty much the same uh, aiming sight. So we can, we're good with that. And there we go. Look, it aims in the right direction. All right, so if we aim it up and down, it does actually allow us to do it. There we go. We can aim all the way to there and all the way down to there. Okay, that's pretty good. And then in reality, we can still turn it. That's completely fine. That's excellent. It actually all works the way we need it to. That's really good. Okay, so now we just need to somewhat like fit it in, if that makes sense. So I don't know how I'm going to do this, to be totally honest with you guys. But I'm thinking we'll just do something like this for now. There we go. And then we'll fill this little bit in as well. So we'll actually do... Let's put that right there like that. That looks interesting, but sure, we'll go with that. And then we'll grab one of these guys and we'll put it right there. And I think that'll be fine. Yeah, it looks a little bit weird. But honestly, I think that's okay. I think it's okay. Okay, so now let's see if it can actually still move and stuff. So we're going to go inside. There we go. Awesome. Get on the actual gun piece. Turn it sideways. Move it up. There we go. Awesome. It moves up just about enough. It moves down enough. That is perfect, actually. Still works too. Brilliant. That's really good. All right, so now we're actually going to go ahead and add something else. Uh, a few of you guys have said the fragmentation rounds are useless and... Uh, to be fair, you might have a bit of a point. So we'll actually put armor piercing in this side. Uh, and then we'll actually shoot it at something. We'll see what happens. But armor piercing, armor piercing, armor piercing, armor piercing. There we go. And armor piercing. Very good. Uh, we're also actually going to put the machine gun on a different trigger, if that makes sense. So we're going to release it from there and we'll put it on one. All right. So let's label things. Uh, trigger shoots the main gun. Shoot main gun. There we go. Uh, one, shoot, shoot, um, auto cannon. There we go, shoot auto cannon. Is it two words? I don't know. Shoot auto cannon. Is it one word? It's one word. It is one word, auto cannon. 
Okay, awesome. So that's all labeled and good. That's fine. Um, awesome. Right, okay. We will need some extra ammo uh, placing somewhere. So let's go ahead and get an extra bo barrier ball thingamabobby of this. Uh, we'll actually put it in the side uh, and we'll put a bunch in. So we'll have one, two, and maybe even three of these. There we go. That's excellent. Yes. Uh, we'll fill this up with random stuff. So kinetic first, high explosive, and then armor piercing if we need it. Bam. We can actually have incendiary too. Kind of cool, actually. Uh, we'll go with incendiary there, and we'll go with um, armor piercing at the top. So armor piercing, high explosive, incendiary. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, excellent. We're also going to go ahead and paint these guys a different color. So there we go. We'll do that. Uh, and I just want it to look a little bit better in here, because at the minute it doesn't look very good. It doesn't. Um, right, hatch. Hatch. Here we go. So if we put a hatch in, let's say, um, no, actually, I don't want to. I don't want to fill this area. I know a lot of you guys have been saying that I should, like, separate them out. But honestly, it's actually completely fine not to. It's it's okay not to, so we won't. Uh, right, we need equipment. We need some equipment for these guys. So we're actually going to go ahead and delete this right here. We're going to get ourselves a gun. Alright, it's going to be an assault rifle. We're going to have two of them. I have one there and one there. That's going to be for the driver and the, uh, the co-driver. Okay, very good. We need ammunition for these guys as well, so we'll delete these and get some, just a little bit of ammunition. There we go, rifle ammo, rifle ammo. Okay, we'll put it in the right way up. There we go, right way up, right way up. Awesome, so we've got a little bit of ammunition there, that's good. Uh, we then need a bit of ammunition for this guy. So we'll go ahead and make it this color for now. Delete these guys and we'll put a thing in here. Uh, ooh, I don't know what kind of gun they would want. Let's go with an SMG for this guy. All right, SMG for this guy. Ah, there we go, SMG, very good, and we'll give him three magazines. Okie dokie, three magazines, let's go. Uh, the right way up, though, bam, bam, bam. Okay, excellent, they've got some ammunition and stuff. Uh, we should have a loader seat, so let's go ahead and get a seat. Uh, and we'll actually whack this straight in here up here. So if anyone wants to sit up here as the loader, uh, they actually can. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, cool, we're going to put that there and there as well. Oh, there we go. We'll just put it on one side. Okay, excellent. So that's all good. Uh, and this stuff can actually be back in the back of the turret if we want it to be. So let's go with gun. We'll add a gun right there, a gun right there. That's for each of them. We'll add rifle ammo to this. And this as well. There we go. And a fire extinguisher. Yes, because that's actually very important to the, uh, the making of this. There we go. Fire extinguisher. We're also going to have a fire extinguisher down here somewhere. We'll put it right there. Excellent. And I guess we'll paint the outside of it. There we go. And there we go. Excellent. Very good. And then we'll grab another fire extinguisher. And we'll put it somewhere else. I guess on this side of the tank. Bam. There we go. Excellent. And then first aid kits are all we need. First first aid kits. So we'll put one of those right there. Excellent. Uh, we'll put one of those right there as well. Good. Uh, we'll have two in the front. I'll we'll actually put one down here. There we go. Hopefully that looks okay. And yeah, that's all good, actually. Nice. That's really nice. Uh, I kind of want to put one up here too. Just in case we need it. So there we go. First aid kit right there. Just in case it's needed. Okay. Uh, that's... Yeah. Okay. Nice. So we need to keep this area in the middle like open. Because this turret basket... Um, well, this bit moves up and down. Realistically, this bit shouldn't move up and down. But... Yeah. It actually shouldn't, should it? Uh... Now, we will leave it actually moving up and down. That's fine. Uh, right, okay, cool. So, all of that's actually done. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the spotlights to a button as well. Uh, they're actually going to go on one. There we go. Bam, 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 bam. And we'll go with spotlight. Here we go. Spotlight. Yes. Okay, we also need the gunner to be able to do it too. So, one, actually two, will be spotlight. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and that is going to be linked up with this guy. There we go. Excellent. That's really, really good. Uh, I'm going to link up all of these guys as well, just in case we need to. There we go. Excellent. I'll link it to there. Why not? Link it down to, to here. Okay, excellent. And that's all pretty cool. Pretty cool. We're also going to go ahead and make a color of this. Uh, it's going to be cream. There we go. Looks pretty awesome. Nice. That's epic, actually. That's really, really cool. We also need to add some more lights on the inside so we can actually see. Uh, and that'll be great, too. Let's do that now. All right, here we go. Light. Give me it. Give me the light. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and we'll actually put it 
right there for one of them. Okay, epic. And I guess we'll put like one back here like this on both sides. I think that's probably fine. Uh, and we'll have it like, I don't know, have a little bit of a barrier up if that makes sense. So we'll have it like this. All right, excellent. That actually totally works. Bam, bam. Good. Uh, we'll paint them all a different color. We'll actually have them all be brown. There we go. Including this one. It's going to be brown. There we go. And that should actually light it up really, really well. So we'll see if it works. But anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, good. We need a button for all of these. We also need a heater. Give me a heater. Here we go. Uh, and the heater itself is actually going to go right here in the floor. Bam. There we go. Excellent. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, we need to link it all together, though. So we'll actually link this to here. We'll give it all electricity, even all of these guys. Okay, very nice. Attach it to there. Attach this to here. Here, here, and there. There we go. Excellent. Attach these to each other and to there and there. Okay. Everything seems to be attached together, guys. We've done it. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. All right, cool. Attach these guys together as well. Uh, there is one thing as well. I'd love to have this all on a breaker. Uh, I would like to actually add another battery as well. So let's add an more batteries. Here we go. We'll actually add two more batteries. One's going to go there. And then the other one is going to go there. Okay, excellent. Yes. Connect those together. That's awesome. Uh, and that's all fine. Nice. Okie dokie. So I need a button to actually turn on the lights inside of here. So we're going to delete that and we're going to put this in. There we go. Awesome. Uh, and this is going to be our lights button because it makes sense. So this is going to be lights. Lights. There we go. And we can connect this directly to here with the electricity. And connect this to there. There. There, and also, uh, well, that's the light for up there. Oh, maybe it should be connected to that, actually. This should be the heater. All right, heater. Bam, there we go. All right, excellent. It gives it a use, which is awesome. So delete it from there, delete it from there, delete it from here, and connect it to the heater. The heater is connected already, awesome. Uh, and then, obviously, we want to connect the lights button, this one, to the lights. So there we go. There we go, and there we go. All right, that's amazing. That's pretty much it then. All right, spawn it in. Let's go ahead and get inside. The lights are all on, which is epic, and now we can actually see. We got extra ammo down here. It'd be nice to have extra ammo of that type down here too, uh, somewhere, but I don't know where we would put it, so that's okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Make sure the auto cannon does actually still work, and then uh, we'll see if it does work. Yeah, let's just go. All right, so the gun works, that's awesome. The auto cannon does work as well. Awesome sauce. Let's go ahead and move ourselves out. There we go. And that's brilliant. We need to work on the steering system still. We still need to work on the steering system. Because it's not amazing. But it is working. So that's pretty good. We still don't have any brakes for it as well. It's not a thing. Alright, heater works. That's excellent. You do have to crouch around in here, but that's okay. Um, little mini machine gun. Yep, that works. Excellent. Uh, go up here, see if this one still works. Yep, okay. Load the ammunition into the gun. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, loaded. Get back on here, close it up. And shoot. At something cool. There we go. Nice. Alright, cool. I think we've actually done a pretty good job with this thing. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to do today is... I'm actually going to go ahead and grab the tank... We're going to go to the underside and we are going to make it super heavy because this thing is super fast at the moment. And I mean, that's OK. That is actually completely fine. Um, but at the same time, we need it to be heavier. So we're going to make it heavier. Oh, as well as that, actually, I should mention. Um, so a bunch of you guys have actually said that maybe we should add some like extra armor to the outside. Armor is actually pretty annoying in Stormworks. If we get shot by a round, we're going to die anyway. Um, it doesn't really matter whether we have armor or not, which is heavy armor blocks, but, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Also, that has not slowed us down at all, has it? Also, this speedo doesn't work. It doesn't work, but that's okay. All right, okay, cool. Well, anyway, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. We have a coaxial machine gun now. We also have a Kita. We have loads of other stuff as well, uh, and I'm actually pretty pleased with that. That's great. Nice. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.